What a play as Warboss Tay back up in its mug. Rounding out our fellowship is these four fine gentlemen. You got an elf, a dwarf, two humans, and uh, you've got Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, and Boromir. So Warboss standard, again, just like the hobbits. And I think that's really, you know, you don't have to go too much higher than that because a war master standard would just add more more highlights, more uh, freehand, like Boromir's got a very simple basic freehand of gold on his sleeve there to match the costume in the movies. And um, I think a war boss standard though can really really bring out the simplicity in the sculpts. There's not a lot of crazy detail it's very realistic, very much. It looks like they just took a picture of the actors in their costumes, posing, and they created a 3D model of it. And so that's what you have here. Hey, just some tips and tricks. If you want a nice reddish brown hair color like Sean Bean's Boromir had, Mornfang Brown shaded with a known oil rather than Agrax Earthshade. Agrax Earthshade is already a brown wash so if you put that onto a uh, reddish brown already it's not going to do too much put a black wash known oil and it's going to shade it really really nicely you can bring that reddish brown back up with mornfang brown looks very very good for aragorn i wanted his hair to look a little bit different so i used dryad bark shaded with known oil and brought up with steel legion drab i think that looks really really good if, okay, so the tricky thing was I didn't want to copy Games Workshop's color scheme because uh, too much. I kind of wanted to go more with what the movie movie actors look like in costume. Some of Games Workshop's painters, when they painted these models for their heavy metal range or uh, gallery, they, they kind of added, I, I would say, like a little bit more color than there was like Aragorn's cloak, or not cloak, his coat. If you look at the Games Workshop colors it looks very bright green almost like uh, I want to say like when the, uh, the Games Workshop Dark Angels the green armor is painted up with moot green it almost looks like it's gone in that direction I wanted to make these guys a little bit more realistic and uh, drab so the interesting thing with painting models but using a drab color scheme is you want to find the highlights that look really natural on them so instead of going with bright colorful highlights go with more um, use uh, bone colors and light beige colors to do the highlights for that. Hey, if you're interested in my uh, work and would like to commission my studio, you can contact me at warbosstastudios at gmail.com or visit my website at warbosstastudios.com. I've got more items going up in the store soon, so you can purchase yourself a little bit of history with the models that I use for my tutorials. Also, check out my Patreon because I'm posting a lot of great content up there in the feed that is going to go private at the beginning of February, and I'd love to have you there as a supporting patron of my studio. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video.